আচ্ছা ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এন্ড প্যারাল এটা খুব ছোট্ট কথা কিন্তু এটার মানেটা কি ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ মানে আর প্যারাল মানেটা কি অ্যাকচুয়ালি উই আর স্টাডিং অ্যাসপেক্টস অফ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ যেটা একজন বিখ্যাত তোমার লিঙ্গুইস্ট সে এটার টার্মস গুলোকে দিয়েছে ফর্ডিনেন্ট ডি সসার at the beginning of the 20th century langui l a n g u e should like to denote for a system of internalized shared rule rules governing a national language vocabulary grammar sound system it is a language a grammar term the purchase that language vocabulary is a language sound system is a language language principles of language ni to amra oto beshi chorcha kori na kintu language er principles ache na hole tumi je kotha ta bolcho she kotha tar kichu mane ba meaning darachche na so the discussion concerning language and parol it is that which is very important to understand is what of the uh, sources university lectures and that has been collected by students which a mindset goals and objectives of historical linguistics from where linguistics have come so naturally it is what synchronic examination of language not interested in studying a particular language for the ling linguistic habits of any one member of a given speech community so systematic study of language is what parol when we study it systematically it is parol why because it has a system of rules and conventions according to which language functions if there was no system of language functioning within the present or within the structuralism of grammar then it, uh, it would have no meaning so for saucer three aspects of language could be potential objects of consideration in linguistic study and he used the french words language as language l a n g a g e langui l a n g u e and parole to designate these aspects language or language refers to the anatomical ability means what cutting or dividing the language into its form noun pronoun verb adverb adjective and then jar modhe amra ideas gulo pe thaki language represents the system of rules meaning structures the system of rules meaning structures was not applicable to language then it would not have, have been language parole is often equated with speech so what i am talking is parole the language that i am talking is the language or language and parole is equated with speech the way i am talking so sometimes it is said that it is a concrete realization of a collectively internalized system saucer stated that language the psychological and physiological faculty to produce meaningful language does not manifest itself solely in the creation of individual sounds so sounds are very much important in language and yakun amra we say it words the units of meaning he stressed that parol 
that is individual communication suppose between you and me within the speech community does not take on the form of the string of unrelated utterances so language becomes a reality in language and ultimately in parole to the rules governing the use and organization of signs so these linguistic conventions are expressed in the form of syntactic and paradigmatic rules bola hoy eigulo ke ei terms gulo ekta mone rakhte hobe dutto system ache jadi ekta language ke bojhano hoy ekta hocche syntactic syntax diye ar ekta hocche paradigmatic rules that means what we want to say about language a syntactic relationship refer to the limitations governing sequences of sounds cat ke cat bolbe cat bolbe na mat ke mati bolbe mat bolbe na there may be people who may be pronouncing the sounds in their way but that is not a proper language and saucer views concerning language and parole as well as his understanding of the purpose and goals of linguistic have exerted immense influence on linguistic in europe and north america so other than him there were others who were leonard bloomfield blanc france boss edward sapi they were also involved in this systematized way so was roland bartels involved in the systematized way of speaking language another important name is noam chomsky who expressed saucer's ideas when he transformed saucer's concept of language language and parole parole is the speech into language capacity competition and performance if we didn't have this when the language would have any meaning so for the meaning to be achieved we have to understand the system very well bus these are the name these are the matter which is involved in this short note then comes the second note types of negation and its interaction with scope negation is a one place operator that converts a true proposition into a false one and a false proposition into true one in english syntax so you see what is true and what is wrong what is yes and what is no and what is not this is all expressed in this form of language scope is a semantic property where you specify the domain of interpretation of an expression such as an adverb or a quantifier often relative to another such expression scope is resolved at the level of lf or what you call logical form we speak language in english it is a fascinating area of study so are the languages that we come across and everywhere there is a term called negation in it yes or no nothing nobody these are called negative indefinite pronouns there are adjectives adverbs and conjunctions which must be associated with language so negativism has its effect usually on the truth and falsity of a sentence therefore a negation works a logical operator at the level of the meaning if there is no negation if you don't understand sun rises every day every hour to na but every day but it determines hours sun does not rise every day if you to say that there may be meaning behind it it is covered by cloud cloudy weather so in the sentence the sentence is not true 
So if we consider this to be true, then we have to accept that it is not true. So we have to be very sure that what we are speaking is right or wrong. AJ, the truth of the language is known as Russell's paradox. I got a short notes. Now, the next short notes is code mixing versus code switching. Again, code mixing is when someone uses one word or phrase from one language to another language. From Bengali also you can use code language. And code switching is when the language is arranged structurally. This has to be understood very truly. What you're speaking is most important. So code mixing is when someone uses one word or phrase from one language to another language. Is a code mixing. So what do linguists do? That they use this code mixing in language. You're speaking English, may, but maybe you're using some other word forms into it. Thought to be a natural outgrowth of multilingual usage. Many things we can say. Multilingual means one not one language considered. But more than one language is considered in speaking a language. You might be speaking in English, but into it you might be bringing certain words which are local words, local language that you're speaking. It may be Bengali, it may be any other language. So that is the way you make the language understandable. Researchers feel either consciously or unconsciously there exist many reasons why people use code switching. One is to express oneself, what he wants to say, and nothing more than that. So to want to say what is to be said, how it is to be said, in what manner is to be said, is very important to express in language, in English also. Sometimes when you code mixing refers to the embedding of linguistic units such as phrases, words, morphemes or words of one language into another language. Sometimes we say shopche best, but best is shopche best. So however you say it, you say it in the form of translation of your language into saying it. So simply code mixing is mixing of two or more languages while communicating. Now it is often common for a speaker for who knows two or more languages to take one word or more. I know English. I know Bengali. I know Hindi. If I know French, if I know English, I can mix it. So that is called code mixing. And code switching is what? Simply a juxtaposition within the same conversion of speech, belonging to two different grammatical or subsystems. Suppose you say I was going to a movie yesterday. So I met someone, I met who? Shayantan there. Raste me mujhe Shayantan mil gaya. So you started English, put into it Hindi, Rasta, Rashayantan, Shatta, Daka Holo. So translation, I was going for a movie yesterday. I met Shayantan on the way. This is a translation. So here it is to be noted that code switching is being misinterpreted to code mixing. In fact, many use the two terms interchangeably. This is again code switch switching, this is again code mixing. 
that has to be understood. So in a single conversation, if a language speaker who is speaking, for example, English switches to French, English switches to Hindi, to Bengali. So it will be code switching. That is called code switching. Switching one language to another language. One sentence is spoken in one language and the second is another language that we use. That is called code switching. It is inter-sentence, inter-sentences. Our code mixing is an inter-sentential phenomena. What we are saying? We are saying something and it is meaning that whatever you are saying. You are right what you are saying. But the question is that you are switching from one language to another language. That is the short notes of it. Uh, a short note, such a generative grammar. भूले फोन देवेंट रखी